Hey guys, it's Giles here from GilesVG.com and YouTube.com slash GilesVanG. I know I haven't made many videos lately, but I'm making a vow to create at least two per week. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, I've already posted one earlier this week, and I'm going to do a lot more Adobe tutorials, um, Creative Suite tutorials, because I'm quite avid with the Creative Suite of applications that Adobe puts out. So today I come to you with a Photoshop tutorial. So we're going to make a little sticker icon that looks like this so we got a uh, gradients going on there's a lot going on here we got gradients well not a lot at all but we have gradients and we got some shadow here and another gradient up here so we're gonna look learn how to create this sticker looking effect and uh hopefully you guys will find it of some use and find some use for it in making an icon or something like that so moving right on we're gonna go minimize this and create a new file, command N and width 800, height 800. And we're just gonna hit okay. Next, we're gonna make a box, sorry, we're gonna make a selection of a circle, holding down shift so that it's equally proportional. Place it roughly in the center, like so. And on a new layer, command shift N to create a new layer, we're going to, um, fill it with black. So to do that, we hit Option Delete or Alt Delete on a PC to, just to fill it with the foreground color. And it doesn't matter what color it is because we're giving it a layer style in just a minute. Next thing we're gonna do is open our Layer Styles dialog box. So we're gonna go over here and anywhere on this layer, not double clicking the layer label, which I'm gonna call sticker right now, anywhere else anywhere off to the side we're going to double click and this will open our layer styles dialog box and we're going to go down to gradient overlay and turn on a gradient overlay and select your gradient it can be anything i'm going to choose this blue to dark blue gradient that i made earlier today and i'm going to keep it not reversed blend mode normal opacity 100 scale 100 but i'm going to make the angle whoops I'm going to turn the angle to the right just a little bit. So around 75, 70 works. So I'm going to hit OK. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer for what we're about to do. And I'm going to call this the, the flip. So we're going to take our pen tool and we're going to make a new path. So we're going to click somewhere around there and again around there and then we're going to drag this one out to make a sort of rounded shape. It doesn't have to be too rounded. I'm actually going to make that a bit wider. So let's go over like this and there we go. That looks about good. And then we're going to move up and over. Then we're going to turn this into a path by taking our work path, bringing it down to the new path icon. That'll create a new path for us. Path one, that's fine. We'll make the path into a selection by going down here and clicking load path as selection. This uh, dotted circle icon that we got here. So we want to click that. Then we want to go up here and onto sticker. We're going to delete from the sticker. So we have this rounded but sort of off round, so we have rounded round circle for that the whole thing. Then this part is a different round, it's more not as round, more rounded, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. So then we're gonna move up here and we're gonna take our path tool and we're going to put one path here and one path point here. Then we're going to drag this one out, and that should be about good. Let me just check my sticker over here just for reference. Yeah, that looks about good. And whoops, then we're going to finish off this, just close the path like so, and then we're going to create a new path from this as well. And we're going to load that as a selection like we did before by clicking load path as, as selection. Then on our flip, we're going to intersect the path with our sticker. So we're going to hold Shift, Alt, uh, or Option, Alt on a PC, and Command, Control on a PC. And as we 
as you look at the uh, preview, as we hover over it, it'll create a little X, and that means we're intersecting the path. So I'm going to click that, and then you'll see it'll intersect the path. Before we had this, now it only selects what part of it is inside the sticker. It's called intersecting the path. That's what I've always called it. And now we're going to go fill that with our black, like we did down here. Doesn't matter because we're going to give it a gradient overlay. And then remember that's on our flip layer. And we're going to give this a gradient overlay like we did before. Open the layer styles dialog box and hit gradient overlay. I'm going to give it the same gradient overlay, but this time I'm going to choose uh, reflected. And since I want the lights in the middle, I'm going to choose reverse to get the lights in the middle. And I'm going to give this an angle of about... Hmm, let's see. 60. 59, that works. So, 59, and I'll scale it up a little bit, just a little bit. Let's be about 115. That looks good. And I'm going to hit OK. And we have our sort of fold over here. Fl not fold, not flip, fold is what I was going to call it. So, we have our fold over here, and uh, that's our fold but if you look it's you can't really see it that well we want to give it some depth by giving it a little shadow right like we have over here right so we're going to select our fold then we're going to so to select it we want to go hold command and click on the image preview so click on that and as you can see it'll select it here and then we want to go select and modify our selection so I'm going to go refine edge because this can do everything at once it's really useful so contract expand all expanded about 10 and feathered about 5 this should be about good then we're going to uh, take our black on a new layer we want to move this layer behind the fold and call this the Let's call this the shadow and we're gonna just fill with our black you can fill multiple times I'm just gonna fill it once and then what we want to do or sorry yeah we want to fill it with our black then we want to select that we want to intersect the selection again with our sticker so we want to go hold shift option all on the PC command or control on a PC and then we have the X come up and we're gonna click sticker then we're gonna invert and that selects just what uh just the part of the shadow that is on the sticker because we don't want this stuff on the outside here so then we're going to hit select and inverse or you can hold shift command i which is how i usually do it and then just hit delete so we got our stuff over here and we've got our shadow if we want we can duplicate the shadow to make it a bit better and then merge the two layers into one so there we have our little label here if we want, we can add some text, so I'll just click in the middle and give this some text, gilesvg.com. Let's give it a better color, so white looks okay, I'll give it a very light blue. Very light, alright, like that, that looks good. Just about there, okay. So then we can move this up here, and as you see, it's kind of overlapping not what we want so we want to move our text below the shadow so that it looks like it's still part of the sticker and if you have it like this then we can just rasterize the text by click right clicking and clicking rasterize type and then we can select this and inverse and delete but we're not going to do that what we're going to do is simple we're just going to move the text down so that it still overlapping but you can still see all the text and then if you want you can add like a drop shadow there's a lot of stuff you can do to just play around play around with it follow me on twitter twitter.com slash giles van Grysen. and again this is a cool photoshop tutorial this is the way i do it there are tons of ways out there that you can do it so submit your video response with your sticker and uh hope to see you guys in a video soon so twitter.com slash giles van Grysen and giles talk to you guys later bye